let's see, we're getting 30, 40 counts right here. 38. Okay. All right, so let's just put this inspector down by the HEPA filter. So I'm just going to try to put it to the side. See what happens. Clearly going up. There's nothing hidden over here. You know, no surprises really. Okay. No, I found 186 on my HVAC filter. I just checked my car filter today. I had to about 50. Something to keep in mind, I think, really, is the amount of air that's going through each unit. Like, obviously, the HVAC, you know, I'm in Florida. The HVAC is running a lot. It's pulling a lot more air out of there. But obviously, it's going to pick up more of these contaminations. You know, in my room, there's a small filter. It's probably on about half the time. And you can see we're still picking up something. This is something else. I'm kind of a little weary to get this dust anywhere, really. So I definitely do need to change this filter out. Obviously, I mean, I'm, it's it's radioactive. be breathing this in so if I if I didn't have this type of air filter in I mean guess where these particles are going they're going in our lungs and it's pro I'm pretty sure it's not catching everything in here but it's it's probably pulling out at least half of what's going out from the AC and I'm gonna be coming out with a future set of videos because there's been a lot of things in the back of my mind that I've been wanting to work on I've also come up with a, a simple do-it-yourself bathroom filter and you can make the system for under ten dollars I've actually made a couple of different prototypes and the latest prototype I came out with it seems to be really effective and I'm gonna, share, I'm gonna be coming out with that really soon so we've been here for a couple minutes it's been about four minutes you can see it's I see so far the highest I've seen is 142 you know, average in my house is about 30, 35 right now. So what is this? What are we breathing? I was just checking out a couple YouTube channels and they're talking about how on the 4th of July they just snuck in this raise the amount of radiation in our drinking water standards you know right on the 4th of July so happy Independence Day when are we going to get independent from nuclear that's what I'm wondering Got about 13 minutes of battery here, so I'm probably gonna let it go to about the two percentage mark, and then I'm gonna have to shut this down. But this will just give you an idea. At least over a few minutes, we're at the five minute mark now. It's not going below 100. That's for sure. But I would love to get some radio analysis done on some samples. If, uh, if you know anybody out there who's willing to do them. But I'm probably going to be throwing this filter out because I, I don't want this be breathing this in the house. Obviously, right? 
But this is why I told you the other day, get a HEPA filter in every house, because look what I'm finding, look what I'm catching. Definitely, I could have been breathing this in every night. All the more reason to take your shoes off at the door or either leave them outside. <clears throat> There's nothing hiding. I'm not playing any tricks. No tricks. No tricks. Right? Oh, he hides something on the inside of his chest or whatever. No, none of that bull fucking shit. Look, you want to know? I'm going to move this shit over here. Okay. From my TV. You know. No games, guys. I don't play fucking games. I tell the truth how I see it. And this is what I'm finding. This is what I'm showing. What is going on? I mean, as far as I know, this Geiger counter is supposed to measure C CCM 137. It's not supposed to pick up other isotopes. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. It's picking up 136 counts of CCM 137. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what the book says on this Geiger counter. That's how, that's what's supposed to register. They say cesium is about a third of what is released whenever you have a uh, meltdown or an incident. But I guess it depends on what cycle, the fuel cycle they are, and the process of what kind of isotopes are released at the time. I've really been wondering percentages. Where is this from? Is this from the local plant where I am, Turkey Point, where they did admit that they found high tritium levels in Biscayne Bay? It's possible. I think it's very likely that that's probably the, the major source. Uh, who knows how much of Fukushima is in this filter? I don't know. And to be honest, I think it's probably more local than it is Fukushima, but I, you know, I could be wrong, we're not going to know that until other people start coming out with their own videos of their air filters, and that's what we need, we need more people to come out, if you got a Geiger counter, who cares what kind of Geiger counter it is, let's just get people doing measurements, we need people to share what they're finding as well, because just if a few people do it, it's not really going to have much of an impact. But if everybody says, what is going on, here's the radiation, and they start going to all their local legislators and politicians and start sharing this with their news channels. I mean, that's what we need. How can you just go on living and ignore this? acting like it's not here when clearly the radiation is here I can't ignore this I can't let my son sleep in this room with this type of radiation in here we're breathing this how many cubic feet of air do we breathe in every day So, my next step probably is, I have a few neighbors, I'm probably going to, it's probably going to sound crazy, but I'm, I'm going to go up to them, I'm going to ask them if I can test out their AC filter, share with them, you know, what I find, and I'm probably, my next step is, I'm going to go closer to Turkey Point, and I'm going to see if I can talk to some locals around Turkey Point, and I want to test their AC filters, and see if I'm getting higher counts than these. If I'm finding a higher counts over by Turkey Point, then 
It would be logical to assume. Here's an update from Miami. I was just checking out this Orc air filter that I have. So you can see I have several different type of filter systems in my house. This one, I mean, it's not really going to be effective as a HEPA filter. You know, I cleaned it out about a month ago. The advantage is it just charges the particles on the plate and they get attracted to the plate. So it's not going to grab everything, but it's going to grab a lot. And my air count was about 28 outside. So actually, I got this up to about 80, 81 on this filter. So it's definitely catching some radiation. I'm not a huge amount, but it's there. We got 82, 84, 90, 92. And keep in mind my air measurement was about 32 max. We're at 98, we're almost pushing 100 here. I cleaned out this filter about a month ago. You see, we got it up to 102. This is the Orc. It was a little pricey. I think it was like around 200 something. But like I said, you don't have to worry about changing out the filters. I don't think it's going to be good as a HEPA, but it's. Better than nothing, that's for sure. How you clean this type of filter is you can uh, you can actually submerge it in water, and most of the particles will fall off. I usually use a little vinegar baking soda, and I'll throw it in the tub and dry it out like that. Looks pretty good. So as you can see, you got up to 102. Kind of spread the word and see if we can get other people doing some type of test like this. That'd be great. Thanks for watching and take care. All right. Thought I would show you this. I thought I found this pretty interesting here. That I just did a video about this last week. And I changed this filter. This is a new filter here. This filter is only a week old. One week. And as you can see, it's clearly above 100 counts. I had up to 154. So move it around a little bit. So I find that to be really disturbing that just a week's worth of use this is already contaminated.
now. Move it away from the filter so you can see how it will go down as it gets away from that filter here. So you can see that my house isn't at 150 CPM. My house is usually like around 30. Okay, now let's go back over that filter. My AC unit. That's my filter right there. Brand new filter, only a week old. You see, it's at 30 counts. One week old AC filter. HVAC, where's this going? Right into our rooms. Total timer. Just another way to see how the radiation goes up. 